how to mine Bitcoin on your computer or laptop. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can mine Bitcoin on your computer or laptop. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Before I begin, I just want to tell you that mining cryptocurrencies is very difficult. It isn't difficult as the process, you know, says it is, but it's difficult in a way that it depends on one thing, your computer, right? It depends on your computer. It depends on how strong your computer is, how fast your computer is, right? It depends upon the hash rate of your GPU, right? So for example, let's say if you have a good GPU, so a good GPU being, let's say GTX or RTX 3090, right? This is one of the best ones out there, I think, as of right now. So let's just say that this is one of the best GPUs out there. And let me tell you its hash rate. So this is the hash rate power. This is the system that mining is depends on. So if your GPU doesn't have a good hash rate, then it won't uh, work. So you're going to need to have a good GPU that has a good hash rate to actually start mining. But if you don't, let's say you have an older card let's say an rt let's say an a gtx 1080 i think you can still mine pretty well because 1080 ti was a really powerful graphics card in its time it was a beast and over here as you can see this is the hash rates over here so if you're you know using the ethereum network you know then you're gonna need the dager the dadger hashimoto ethereum algorithm and on it it is it has a hash rate of 43.5 mega hashes per second, which is a lot. If you're using, let's say, other cryptocurrencies, then their algorithms have their own, uh, you know, hash rates. Let me just see over here. So over here, as you can see, we have these cryptocurrencies, all right? And these are the algorithms that they have, and these are their hash rates. So if it's a good hash rate, then of course, you're going to mine cryptocurrencies very, very easily. You won't have any problems. But if not, then you're going to need to upgrade your system or get a, you know, mining ring on its own. So let's just say that you have that. You're good to go. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a cryptocurrency wallet. So the best one, in my opinion, is MetaMask. So this is a pretty amazing wallet you can use. And it is very, very, you know, secure. You, you won't have to worry about any break-ins or stuff like that. Really nice. So now I already have it installed on my computer. As you can see, it's basically an extension. It's really nice. Uh, but if you don't want to use uh, MetaMask, you can go over to Bitcoin.com and go into Wallet. And you can download the wallets on your phone for Bitcoin, which is, you know, both available on Android and iOS. So you don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to be using MetaMask and it's really simple, all right? So uh, I'm going to download it MetaMask, all right? It's installed. Now what I want is to go ahead and log in. And if I click on the MetaMask, you know, extension, it opens up this detail where, I, as you can see, I've already logged in. It's not connected or anything, but I'm logged in. And this is my MetaMask, you know, this is my cryptocurrency wallet address. This is very important. This is what we're going to need to actually, you know, get mining. So to mine it, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download this software from this website called unminable.com. You're going to go over here and you're going to download the miner that we're going to be using. Now, unminable is a very amazing website for beginners. And as you can see over here, this is the amount of Bitcoin that has been, you know, uh, mined from unminable. And these are the users that are actively working over here and these are like the paid across all the assets so it's really simple and these are all of the coins that are available on unminable so we have bitcoin bitcoin gold we have ave cardano we have dogecoin ethereum ethereum classic anything so it's really nice it's really really simple so let's go ahead and download the software so to download the software what you're going to do is you're going to come over here uh, let me just go back. I'm going to come over here at the top here. You can see you have download, right? Just simply click on download. You're going to need to download this part version, all right? The beta version with the minor files included. Now, why you're going to need this is because if you download the main version without the minor files, then you're going to have to manually add the minor files as well. And, but you don't have to worry about that. It shows you how you can add that. But I recommend using this one since you're a beginner, you won't have, you won't know any you know knowledge of how to do it so it's much safer to go with this route so just simply click on this button right here and it's going to go ahead and download the system the software for you so you don't have to worry about that so i'm just simply going to place it in the download section and click on save 
and as you can see it's downloading so it's going to download in about 15 seconds and once it's downloaded we can go ahead and move on so i'm going to go ahead and pause this video actually or no i'm going to let it run because it's almost downloaded so let me just show you while it's being downloaded um another thing that i wanted to show you is and another thing that i wanted to show you guys uh, are these coins and if we come over here we go into bitcoin we get all the information that we want so these are the eth hash you know this works for graphics card eth hash cash we have the graphics card cow pow and then we have the random x you know uh, the cpu and you can get started with xm rig you can get started with t-rex nb minor you know phoenix minor lol minor nb minor t-rex minor and all of that but it's really simple right don't you don't have to worry about that all right so now that it's downloaded let's go ahead and show it into the folder let's go ahead and open it up but as i but remember guys what i wanted to tell you is that since this is a minor your antivirus is going to classify it as a virus so you're going to need to you know turn it off otherwise it's not going to allow the minor to work so turn off your antivirus go into virus and protection and threat protection over here and turn it off and here we go i'm just simply going to go in here manage settings turn on real-time protection now i'm just simply going to go ahead and extract all of this all right the unminable software there we go now that that's out all we have to do next is just simply double click on the application and run it as you can see as i said before it's going to say that it's a virus uh we're gonna have to you know run it run as as administrator run anyway we're gonna run anyway we don't we don't care and as you can see this is how it looks like so it's really easy it's really good and it's one of the fastest and the easiest way to start mining your favorite uh you know non-mineable and some mineable coins so let's go ahead and click on continue and over here you get to choose which ever hardware you know you want so if you choose gpu as i said before it's going to give you a higher hash rate it's going to give you a more opportunity to you know mine more coins but if you choose cpu then it's going to give you a little bit lower but it's going to use the random x algorithm to mine for cryptocurrencies that is only when if you don't have like say a gpu now i don't have a gpu so i'm going to be using you know the cpu version i'm just simply going to click on next and over here you just have to select the type of coin you want to connect so you know uh, mine bitcoin so i'm going to search for bitcoin over here btc here you go and then all you have to do is enter in your wallet address that you copied all right so let's go ahead and go back over here and copy our wallet address right now i have to sign in again into Meta metamask account and over here i have to enter in my secret recovery phase that you get when you sign up so remember your secret recovery phase take a screenshot or save it somewhere else otherwise it's not going to work and remember to always like you know um and remember to not leak it out or give it to someone else because this is the only way that you can access your metamask wallet account so i'm going to go ahead and sign in and i'll catch you guys in a second and as you can see this is my wallet address i just simply copy the address now i go into unminable and i just simply paste the address and i just simply click on start but as you can see it is not the btc address it seems to be invalid is because it's currently on the ethereum network let me see if i can change it okay so for the btc wallet you can choose a bunch of the other ones as well so currently i'm installing bitcoin core which is a bitcoin wallet and you can use like coinbase all right so as you can see it's still pending i just submitted my review for this you can use trust wallet you can use other ones as well i don't think metamask works because it is for the ethereum network so tough luck i guess it doesn't work with bitcoin but i guess we're good because we are using the bitcoin core so let me just click on finish and run it and once i've run it uh we're gonna go ahead and add the bitcoin address over here and then just simply click on start right it's checking the network all right it's downloading all of the necessary components as of right now uh let me just go ahead and create a new wallet i'm gonna call it like a btc wallet i'll click on create boom i have have it created now what it's going to do is it's downloading all of the data from 13 years ago so after it's done we can then go ahead and find our wallet address but for now i think we're good to go you can download the windows version for this application so that it works faster right so 
yeah so basically this is how it works right you just get your bitcoin wallet address you paste it over here and click on get started and boom your mining will start so yeah that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye